Boom. Welcome back to Code Church. Baruch haba, b'shem l'abadonai. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All right, folks, what we have here, and I have to get right into it, only have 15 minutes, is the ambush of America. Some of the terms we have here is Obama. It seems to be that he is the ambush. The Vav in his name, you have Obama, Aleph, Vav, Bet, Mem. Hey, that Vav is the Vav in Mem, uh, in Mem, with war, is Medes, runs right through here. War's here three times, folks. Uh, we have chemical weapons right here. Uh, Iran is here, Iran, and Iran, uh, Ulam, and Ulam. Ulam is also here in the blue. Um, back when Obama was in New York, folks, he was talking about a, a nuclear blast in New York. Uh, so I just searched that here, and New York is indeed here. You see in the blue and in the green we have New York connecting with wickedness. And if you add the other two letters here, you have wickedness survives. Uh, we have a uh, year in the four letter, Tav Shanain Hey, which is 2015. That's the same thing here, crossing itself. Also have vertically the year 2016, four letters, Tav Shanain Vav, Meshefet, Judgment. Um, and uh, we have Word Destroyed right here. By the way, folks, this cluster of verses is all Daniel. Every one of those verses are Daniel. Uh, we have Lamentations here and a verse from Psalms. So uh, let's just uh, get on through. Let's see. We've got China here in the red letters. you got the Summit Yod Noon and Summit Noon Yud Noon. Summit Yod Noon, um, which is the word sin in, in English, but it's... Uh, China and Hebrew there. Uh, the Lord God of Israel and Yeshua comes together with Siva 7. The 7 appears again. Uh, right. And I believe that's all the terms. So let's jump right into the verses, folks. And we're going to 110 of Psalms. And we'll read on. And the Psalm of David, the Lord said unto unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. And the Lord shall send forth a rod out of strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and in the beauties of holiness from the, room, from the womb of the morning. Thou hast due of thy youth. And the Lord hath sworn, yet I will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, folks, can you can you guess who God is talking about right here? The Lord is at thy right hand, shall strike through the kings in the day of his wrath, and he shall judge among the heathen, and he shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He, he shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall drink of the brook in the way, therefore shall he lift it. So he lift up the head. We got the house of God there as well, folks. I forgot to point that out. So we go to Lamentations here in third chapter, verse sixty-one to sixty-three. Thou hast seen all their vengeance and all their imaginations against me. Mm, let's back on up. O oh Lord, thou hast seen my wrong, judge thou my cause. Thou hast seen all their vengeance and all their imaginations against me. Thou hast heard their reproach, O oh Lord, and all their imaginations against me. The lips of those who rose up against me and their device against me all the day. Behold, they're sitting down and they're rising up. I am their music. Uh, those that like to congregate and gossip. Render unto them they a recompense, O Lord, according to the work of their hands. Give them sorrow of heart and curse unto, unto them. Persecute and destroy them with in anger from under the heavens, O Lord. And that's running right through uh, the Aleph and Mem in, in uh, America. Also, Obama runs through there. And we go down to Daniel. This is chapter 2. All right, this is where Nebuchadnezzar is having a dream about the statue. 
And this is where he's looking for someone to interpret the dream. Not only interpret, but tell him what his dream was. Uh, i have to do it again. There we are. Chapter 2, verse 8. And the king answered and said, I know of certainty that ye would gain the time, because ye have seen the thing is gone from me. He's talking about his dream he had. But if ye will, make, will not make known to me the dream, there is none. There is one decree for you, for ye have prepared lying and corrupt words to speak before me all the time and be changed. Therefore tell me the dream, and I shall know ye can show me the interpretation thereof. He was forgetting the dream, folks, and he wanted somebody to tell him what it was and the interpretation. And they had to be good or they would be cut into pieces. This next one, uh, next verse is also in Daniel. And we'll go right through this very quickly before I run out of time. Chapter 3, verse 29 is where we are. Therefore I will make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amidst the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut into pieces, and their houses shall be made at Dunghill, because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to the province of Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar, the king, unto the people, nations, and language, in that dwell in the, on the earth, peace be multiplied unto you. I thought good to show the signs and wonders that the high God hath wrought toward me. How great are his signs and how mighty is his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and his dominion from generation to generation. And in this next verse, also in Daniel, we are in chapter 6, verse 7 and 8. Uh, then said these men, We shall find no occasion against this Daniel, except we find against him concerning the laws of God. Then these presidents and priests and assembled themselves again together to the king, and, th and said thus unto him, King Darius, live for ever. All the presidents of the, of the kingdoms, of the governments, of the princes, and the counselors, and the captains have consulted together to establish a royal statute, and make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of any god or man for thirty days, save thee, O king, that he should be cast at the end of lions. What was happening here was um, there were those that came against Daniel because of his anointing, and they wanted to destroy him. So they made up things, they tricked people, they tricked the king, they come up with a decree that would be a trap for him, and eventually he was in the den where God showed his mercy and delivered it, showed his favor, praise God, and delivered him. All right, this next verse, and folks, we just have to keep moving because I'm running out of time here. I don't have a pro account anymore. We're in chapter 9, verse 1. In the, in the first year of Darius, the son of Xerxes, the seed of the Medes. We're talking about Medes and Persians in here. Which was made king of the realm of the Chaldeans. In the first year of his reign, Daniel and I understood by the books of number of the years, wherefore the Lord came into Jeremiah the prophet, that he would accomplish seventy years the desolations of Jerusalem. And I set my face unto the Lord God and seek prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. Daniel was shown what was happening in the end times and he wept bitterly and prayed for Jerusalem. Folks, you know what happens in verse chapter 9. It, it, uh, eventually the man is uh, revealed. Here we are in chapter 11, verse 36 is where I'll start. And the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god, and shall speak marvelous things which the God of gods shall prosper until the day of ignition be accomplished, for that is determined shall be done. Neither shall the regard of, of the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard of any god, for he shall magnify himself above all. Who is that, folks? What are we talking about here? We're talking about the Antichrist. But in his estate shall he honor the God of forces, and a God whom the, his fathers knew not shall he honor with gold and silver and with precious stones and pleasant things. Thus it shall be due in the most strong holes that the strange God whom he acknowledged and increased with glory 
it shall cause them to rule over many and shall divide the land for gain. And that's what we have here uh, in the bottom right there. And folks, and I apologize for having to rush through this table, but I do not have a pro account anymore and I've only got 15 minutes. But as soon as I'm able, I will get a pro account and we'll be able to talk for an hour or more. But there we go. We have America is ambushed. And I will bet to say it is likely the administration that has ambushed us. I cannot find uh, Islam in here or Ishmael or countries like Russia or uh, anything that you would imagine would be the ambusher. But that one there, the spoiler, and I will not be deterred, folks, even if they throw me in the lion's den the fiery furnace God is still with me Shalom Aleichem God bless you and be with you folks and be looking for the next video